If you're like me, then you're always looking for an idea to make holiday entertaining easier. With all the parties, potlucks, and last minute guests, who has time to prepare for them all? Well, scrambling to cook something at the last minute isn't the answer, because there's a better way. Having French cheese puffs, known as gougere, in your arsenal during the holidays can be a lifesaver. You can freeze off a whole bunch and then just bake off what you need. This recipe comes from fine cooking contributor Martha Holmberg. Now the dough is basically an unsweetened cream puff dough, which the French call a pat choux, but really it's the easiest pastry dough you can imagine. You bring water and butter to a boil in a medium saucepan, and then you dump in your flour all at once and take it off the heat. Stir it until it makes a smooth, thick paste, and then continue to cook it over low heat for a minute or so. This is really the only secret to the pastry. Cooking off the extra moisture here will help prevent soggy cheese puffs. Now you know it's ready when it starts to come together in a smooth ball and it pulls away from the side of the pan, though you'll still have some starch sticking to the bottom of the pan. Now you want to take the pot off the heat and then start adding your eggs one at a time. You want to completely mix in each egg before adding the next one. And if you prefer, you could do this with a hand mixer or in a stand mixer. Now once you add all your eggs, the dough should fall from the spoon in a heavy strand. Now you can add a ton of different ingredients to switch up the flavorings. I'm going to add some Roquefort, but you could use cheddar, gruyere, really any kind of cheese you like as long as it's not too moist. You can also add other things like herbs, chopped scallions, spices, crumbled bacon, or chopped nuts. I'm going to add some chopped walnuts to this. I think that'll go really well with the Roquefort. We'll give this a stir just to combine. Now scoop the dough onto a parchment lined baking sheet. Now I'm going to pop these in the freezer right on the baking sheet. After about an hour, the gougere will be frozen solid. And then you can transfer the frozen gougere into a zip top freezer bag or an airtight container and they'll keep for up to a month in the freezer. Now, anytime you need some party food, you can just pull them off and bake off what you need. For just a few friends, grab a handful or for a big party, bake off the whole thing. Put them back on the parchment lined baking sheets and bake them at 425 degrees for about 30 minutes or until they're puffed and golden brown. You can check to see if they're really done by cracking one open. It should be nice and moist, but not too eggy. The Gougere pair perfectly with a glass of wine or champagne. Pair them with a platter of vegetables or maybe some charcuterie and you've got yourself an amazing party spread. For this recipe and many more, visit finecooking.com.